everyone, Monroe Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another vlog. Make sure to give a girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. Alright you guys, your girl's been MIA. Okay, over on the gram, over on all the other socials, and even here, your girl has been MIA. I have been taking the first week of January to just luxuriate, relax, get on my game plan, plan out the next few months, um, and just reflect. You know, this is the quiet season for content creators, so I'm finally able to do that <laughs> and chill a bit. So today I'm actually headed to, I think we're going to the beach. We're heading to Soho House. I'm meeting up with my friend Rhea and my other friend Lex, who are both content creators here in Miami. And we're just going to have a day, you know, just to luxuriate, buy somebody pool, drink some drinks, eat some food. I don't know, maybe they'll have some live music at Soho House. Sometimes they do. Um, and it should be fun. So I have on this dress that you all have seen before if you watch my YouTube Reels or my Instagram Reels. This is like a lace and sheer dress from the brand um, Chato Ruiz Abitha. Uh, it's a really cool brand. They invited me for a lunch maybe two months ago and they sent me this beautiful dress. They also have swimsuits. They have skirts in this material. Um, matching top and skirt sets, sarongs. All the things um, it is reversible so I can actually wear the scoop neck in the front as well but I like this way I feel like it's so chic and beautiful I just put on a little everyday face and some of my favorite Dior lip glow oil I actually need to get a new one because you guys see I've been using this one but yeah we are gonna hang out today because it's actually really nice in Miami today and I think it's supposed to rain for the rest of the week but for the rest of the outfit, I am taking my favorite uh, Reeve Ghost Saint Laurent tote. This is a smaller version, which I really like because it has like this raffia. And then we are going to go with my Chanel dad sandals because I think we are actually going to the beach and maybe going to get some cabanas. Um, so I want, you know, just a plain sandal. And then I want to be a little bit extra. And I think I'm going to take my Chanel Sunnies. It's been a while since I've actually worn these Chanel sunglasses. I think the last time I wore them was when I went to the Bahamas for the first time. And they're just so extra. So I don't think I'm going to even wear earrings. Because they're giving everything that needs to be gave. I've seen a few of these on the resale market. So I'll be sure to link them down below. But I think this is from the most recent Coco collection of 2023. So yeah, that's going to be my look for today. Oh, that's Rhea now. Okay, sweet. Um, let's pick a fragrance, get ourselves together. And I'll show you guys a few clips. I don't know if you know, but you're not allowed to actually take photos at Soho House. But if we're on the beach, I can show you guys what we're doing on the beach. For today's fragrance, we're going to go with the one that I got for Christmas from my friend, the Kaysen Anudism. I have been loving this. It's like very vanilla-y with like pepper. And it just smells so freaking good. I love how this smells. Um, I don't plan on going in the water, unfortunately, because it's my special time of the month. <laughs> right at the top of the year, y'all. What a way to be greeted with the new year. But yeah, should still be fun just to hang out with friends. So I'm going to put my uh, like little wireless speaker in here. And what else? That's probably it. All right, I'll show you the full look and then we're out of here. All right, guys, here is the full look. I feel like it's super chic. Underneath, I just have on a ASOS bathing suit. And that is the look and the fragrance of the day. Let's go chill by the ocean or by the pool and relax our way into the new year.
I woke up bright and early and I got a Zoom workout in with my girl Life with Glory B on Instagram. You can DM her or leave a comment on one of her Instagram posts to be added to the list so that you can work out with us. We work out five days, no, four days a week, um, 30 minutes on the weekdays, one hour on the weekends. I will put her Instagram handle on the screen here so you can head there. Um, but yeah, there is a small fee for the classes as well. But it's nice. It's the first week of January and I feel like I'm on my Zoom. I already did a bike ride, three workouts this week, and it's only Friday. Hmm. Um, I need to put on some gloss really quick. I put on this old Zara bodysuit and my favorite jeans from Margiela. These are the Margiela Slash jeans. I always get asked what size I wear these and I get them in an Italian 42 or US size six. And they are on sale at a few different places. They're super expensive, but definitely one of my best purchases of, I don't know, 2022. I think that's when I bought them, maybe even 2021. Um, but yeah. I will also link a few uh, similar tops like this. I know they have them at Forever 21 as well. Um, so let's throw on some gloss because I'm not feeling like myself without my glossy lip. And then I'm going to show you guys a few things I got in from Amazon to start my year off right. Um, and also a gift that I got in from Carol's daughter, which I might need to use in my hair today. Um, and then we're going to put together my planner or my journal for 2024, which I'm very, very excited about. All right, let's get these lips together. All right, guys, we're going to go with the road. This is the new strawberry one, or it's really not that new. It's been out for quite a while, but I love this. Uh, it's so thick and just shiny and it tastes amazing. It does taste really good. Yeah, so I love this one just for a little shine. I also really love the other one, the Road Glaze. This one is the caramel, the salted caramel one. And these are my two favorites. So I'll be sure to link them down below. But you, you, you see the vibes. You see them. You see the vibes. I feel like I need to add a little, a little more blush too. I was doing a little bit of content earlier after I got myself together this morning. And I, don't worry, I have linked all of my favorite robes down below because every time I wear that Soma Intimates robe, I get so many compliments of people wanting to know where I got it from. That particular one has sold out, but I have linked more from the same brand that are super similar. Um, it's almost like a kimono robe and it's just, it's fabulous. I mean, you know, just to be around your house in a beautiful robe in the morning, sipping your coffee, writing in your journal and all of the things. So now that that's done and I'm feeling more like myself, let me show you what I got from Amazon. Oh, before we get into my Amazon haul, I just want you guys to know I had a bomb day yesterday at Soho Beach House. It was really nice. We all had umbrellas and we just chilled. It was my girl Rhea and my friend Lex. Uh, and we just had like a wonderful day at the beach, listening to music, eating food, walking on the sand, talking, chatting. It was so much fun. And I got so many questions about these sunglasses. Uh, I don't know if you guys watched my Bahamas vlog when I took a huge trip with SLS Hotels um, and also the disloyalty program. By the way, they still have that program going on where you can get tons of discounts on hotel rooms all over the world. So I put details down below in my description bar and in a pinned comment. And if you are subscribed to my newsletter, you already know the tea. Um, but yeah, I bought these from Chanel at uh, Brickell City Center and they are just so cool. I got so many questions about them, but I don't see them anywhere anymore except for on resale markets. And I definitely don't see the ones with like the rhinestones in them. I've seen the visor ones, but not these exact ones. So if I can find any, I will link them down below. But these are a showstopper. These are my hater blockers. And I'm taking a little tropical vacation soon. So you will see a lot more of these. Now, speaking of 
what I got from Amazon. I showed you guys this in the previous video, but I got this little clear binder um, from Amazon because I'm going to turn my agenda here into one with a binder. This one actually doesn't have a binder on the inside. It's literally like just a cover. And so I wanna turn this into my agenda book for 2024. So I'm gonna cut this, fit it to this, insert it, and get it started because we're already, I mean, we're still on the first week of January, but I have things already on the calendar. I've already scheduled my Paris Fashion Week. I'm already working on New York Fashion Week collaborations. Um, I have two campaigns that are due next week. And so I already have to like really, really get started on putting things into my agenda and such. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna convert this one into this one. Now they do sell the Louis Vuitton um, binder that comes with the six ring, but it has literally been out of stock for like a year. Okay, the planning girlies got to it and there isn't any more. So we're gonna DIY this one with this little, I think this was like 10 bucks that I got from Amazon. Also from Amazon, I got these little ruler separators, which I think is pretty cool. And this is what else I got Ugh. from Amazon. So I got these little envelopes that I can put into the binder and they're zippy envelopes, which is really amazing. And then it has the little six holes here so that it goes inside the binder. Now for me, this works really well for getting my receipts together because I work for myself. I have to keep track of every dollar spent for my business. Um, and I end up just like throwing all of my receipts in like this little folder <laughs> that I have. Like right when I walk into my door, I clean out my bag, I throw the receipts in there and then I kind of um, adjust them at the end of the month. Instead of doing that, it'll be so easy for every month to have one of these. So I can just, all the receipts for that month are already lined up in the envelope, which is amazing. So yeah, these were really inexpensive. They come with a ton of them. So I'll be able to do like monthly receipts. And that might even be too much to take up in a notebook. Maybe I'll do every two months. Really, it only matters for the end of the year, but still love these i'll link those down below in addition to that i got hole punched lined paper from amazon that i'm gonna put into my journal and this was very inexpensive compared to like i ordered some really nice paper agendas from the line shop who um who recommended the line shop to me it's another influencer that i watch um but yeah, I used her code and I ordered quite a bit of things from the line shop. And yeah, it hasn't gotten here yet, but these are basically the same thing. So I'll link this down below if you're looking for really nice paper for your journals. I also got another SD card reader. Now, this is what the SD card reader is. Um, these little... SD cards are what I vlog on or I film my content on and I can just put it in here and literally pop it right into my iPhone and then upload the photos straight to my phone if I don't have like a wireless camera that can airdrop the pictures to my phone. But this is very, very, very handy. Um, I, I keep one on me at all times, but this one has been through some things. As you can see, it's pretty dirty kind of beat up I've had it for about a year so I thought it was time to get another one one that I just can put in my travel bag so I never forget it and then one that I keep at home so I just ended up getting a new one from Amazon it came in like a day it only cost about 10 bucks one thing that if you're a content creator and even if you're not if you just happen to take a lot of pictures um, on a DSLR camera or even on a smaller vlog camera this is wonderful. So I ended up getting another one of these from Amazon to start the year off. I also got a ton of SD cards for all of my vlogging and the content that I film, like my reels and things, sometimes I'll film it on a better camera um, to make it more clear and concise. 
So yeah, I got a ton of SD cards. I usually get the 128 gigabytes because I can vlog on these for like a month <laughs> before needing a new one, maybe even more, like two months. Yeah, about two months vlogging pretty much every day. Um, these take up most of the videos and so I only need a few. I use one for photos and then I use the other two for vlogs and such. But yeah, I haven't found them anywhere cheaper for this amount of gigabytes other than Amazon. I think one is $13 and these go for like $30, some, $25 to $30 for one. So I'll be sure to link the exact vendor I get mine from. I love the brand uh, SanDisk, it's the best in my opinion. And I believe that's everything I got from Amazon. So I'll go through and we'll put my journal together with each other in a few. But I also want to show you what I got in from Carol's daughter. Uh, they sent over this The Color Purple set from Sister to Sister. Um, you guys know The Color Purple came out on Chris in theaters on Christmas Day. I haven't had a chance to see it yet, but I of course do want to see it. But they were so kind to send over this. I guess it's what, like their color purple set, I believe. Um, and it's Carol's Daughters products. I've been using Carol's Daughters since she had a store on 125th Street in Harlem. And I used to go in there and get all of my hair products. Um, Lisa, I've met her quite a few times. She's amazing. I think I believe she's no longer with the company. I think she sold the company but she wrote a nice little love note on here and what we have in here are the black vanilla line which is a moisture and shine system we have the shampoo and the conditioner which is great i'm probably going to take my braids out in about a month and i'll have this to use but this i can use now which is the black vanilla hydrating leave-in conditioner it's for dry, dull, and brittle hair. It doesn't have any silicone, paraben, um, petroleum, mineral oil, or artificial colors, which you guys know, I'm not trying not to use artificial colors in anything that I put on my body. It also has aloe, vitamin B5, and soy protein. And it's also made with 100% recycled material. <laughs> I've been waiting to open this so I can use it. It smells. So freaking good and this also just reminds me of when I very first moved to Harlem and I used to stay in Carol's daughter's store on 125th Street or 125th and uh, it just brings back like how happy I was to like be living in Harlem Ugh, memories. in addition to that they also sent over the moisture and hold jelly it has a 72 hour hold I wonder if this works for like baby hairs Ooh. Oh, this is very like jelly. I feel like this would be good for like a twist out, which I'm excited to do more of. I am gonna wear my natural hair out more, even though I only last a day here in Miami. It's true, but I miss my fro. I miss my hair out. So we'll be wearing my hair out for a little bit before it's time to get it together for fashion month. All right, you guys, that was a little gift from Carol's daughter. So shout out to them. And let me know if you've seen the Color Purple movie and what you all thought about it. All right, guys, so I have everything laid out here and set up on my desk. And we're gonna get started putting together my 2024 journal. I've actually already been journaling, but nonetheless. I'm gonna be using this um, Louis Vuitton Epi book cover for my notebook now this one is new and i just bought it for the holiday season and it already came with the rings um and so what i'm going to do to make this my journal is take my papers here from amazon that are already pre-cut and i'm going to put them inside now the good thing is you get a, a decent amount of paper when you order from Amazon and I think this was like seven bucks and I got both of these for seven bucks. But the good thing is I can always take these out once it's full and just add it to like a thicker binder that I store somewhere else. 
but I love how this paper looks. It smells amazing. So we're gonna just go ahead and put that in. It fits perfectly. Um, these Louis Vuitton notebooks are A5 paper. So they have the six holes. I love how this looks. So we're gonna go ahead and set this up as my personal daily journal. Okay, so I ended up getting two of these Today rulers. They both came in that one package. And I just realized one is black and one is clear. And I think the black one will go better with my journal. So I'm gonna take this clear one out and replace it with the black one and use the clear one for my agenda and use this one for my journal. So once the pages start to get like a little deep, I can move this to the today page so I know exactly where I left off writing for my journal. And then I think over here, I'm just gonna put like little keepsakes and things. Now keepsakes I might include would be like these little photos I took yesterday with my friends at the beach. I have some from a little party I had. Um, and I can also put them in one of these little envelopes from Amazon. I can like pin it to the back like that. And then I can put the pictures in it. And that way I can keep track of like all of my memories of the year. And maybe at the end of the year, I can make a little scrapbook with all of the photos, by the way, I always take this for any kind of moments I'm having. If I'm having a little party, if I'm going to the beach with friends or having an event, I pop this camera in my bag because it's an instant camera and I can create memories with this. I also get the film from Amazon. I mean, it's fairly uh, affordable. So yeah, I'll be sure to link any of these Instamac, in Instax, <laughs> Um, mini 40 cameras down below because it prints the photo out right away. You can create really cool memories with those. So I wanna make sure I'm doing more memory catching in 2024. So I always keep that camera on hand and just pull it out and take a photo with friends. So I'm gonna put one of these little envelopes back here and it is a zip envelope. And then I'm gonna put the photos in it. All right, loving how this is looking so far. And this is like a little zip envelope. I'm gonna go ahead and put my photos in there and zip them in. Okay, so I'm pretty obsessed with how this is looking so far. Um, another memory I have, or like a little keepsake, is when Louis Vuitton sent me a beautiful Christmas card. So I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna tuck it in here. This is another cool memory from when I did my Amazon The Drop collection. So I definitely wanna put this in my journal as well. All right, so here is a look at my daily journal that I will be writing in usually every morning while I have my coffee. Um, I usually like to fill one page front and back with just my thoughts, my feelings, what the day before brought to me as far as clarity and just anything really, just documenting what I'm going through. It's a nice little brain dump and I'm loving the way it came out. So now we're gonna get started on my agenda. This is gonna have like my daily, weekly goals and things. I haven't gotten all of the papers in yet, but I wanna go ahead and cut this little thing I got from Amazon so that it fits within the sleeves here and then I can have a binder. So to start, I'm just gonna eyeball this binder. I'm only gonna cut like a tiny bit off. I'm gonna cut the ends off as well because I won't need this button and then it won't slide in if this is on. So I'm gonna cut that part off as well. So I'm just gonna cut it to fit so that the ring is right kind of like in the middle. All right guys, it worked. So I just cut a lot of the edges off and the little tabs and things and I literally just slid this in this last like little binder here and then I slid this one in there and now it is like perfect as a binder and now I can open and close this like so well I can't do it with one hand there we go and then I can put like papers in there and everything that I need to put in there but like that was really really simple and it's in there like really sturdy and good, so it's not gonna be sliding around or anything. 
and I'm very, I'm thrilled. So let's go ahead and put my other bookmark in here. So we have this Today bookmark that I got from Amazon. I'll go ahead and put that in here. But I'm gonna wait until I get like the paper that's supposed to come in here from, um, what is it called, the line shop? Because that is already like dated and everything. But I can go ahead and put an envelope in here because I do have some receipts uh, from January already. So I can go ahead and grab those receipts and pop them in here. So they'll be in the back and ready to go. Oh, I love this. So I went ahead and organized my business cards. Most of these are like my essays. <laughs> I have like Chanel, Tiffany & Co, Miami Design District, Louis Vuitton, What Goes Around Comes Around. Valois Vintage in Paris and my Hermes Connects. Then these are all my travel connects. And yeah, I'm gonna go grab my receipts so far from January and pop them in here. And then when I get my paper uh, from the line shop, um, I will go ahead and pop everything in here and go ahead and start planning. So if that comes during this vlog, I will feature that in this video. If not, it should be in like the next one. All right guys, so I feel super organized with my two journals. Well, my agenda for work and all of my planning and also staying on top of my YouTube videos and such, and then my daily journal. So these will be my two that are with me all the time, but mainly this one, because. <laughs> This is the one that has all the important things in it. Um, and I will be sure to link all of those items down below from Amazon as well as my little camera because I'm going to be making all the memories this year in 2024. Uh, but I do want to show you guys one more thing and then I think we might stop vlogging for today and I'll check back in tomorrow. But remember you guys. I went to Bow Harbor Shops because I was looking for their holiday newspaper. So this is the Bow Harbor Special Edition Holiday 2023 um, magazine. They put out a magazine, I feel like every quarter, um, but I'm actually in this one and I wanna show you guys my feature. So they did like a roundup of locals giving their like favorites of what to do in Miami around um, Art Basel and they reached out to feature me um, and they included me in the locally sourced section um, where Miami season officially underway. They asked 10 locals to tell us where they're going, what they're wearing, and to share a few tips on surviving art week in style. And as you can see, I'm right here. I cannot believe it, it's so cool. Um, I pretty much gave them what my wardrobe consists of for Art Week, um, telling them that I'm wearing lots of color colorful dresses and such, what I'm coveting right now from Bar Harbor Shops, which was definitely the Ferragamo Bow Heels, which I ended up getting in red, um, my top recommendations for eating, um, community, uh, charitable organizations I'm involved with, and just other things and it was just really cool to be featured in the magazine so shout out to everyone over at ball harbor shops and at the magazine for featuring me so now i have this little keepsake i only have one i should have got more than one so i can like cut it out um but i only have one so i'm just going to probably find somewhere in my home to display this just to kind of have it for myself. So yeah, that's actually really cool. Um, and that's pretty much it for today, guys. I have a little bit of work I need to do, but it's boring work, so I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you that. But I will check in tomorrow because I've gotten some new in items from Michael Kors. I'll be working with Michael Kors again in 2024, one of my favorite brands to work with. Um, so yeah, I wanna show you guys some travel things I got from them, which should be awesome. I know a lot of you are planning travel for 2024. So this will be an awesome opportunity to show you those bits. And then I also got a few more things in that I ended up buying from holiday sales, but they didn't ship until after the new year. I ordered some gorgeous pieces from Age, and I cannot wait to show you. Um, but yeah, I'll show that all to you guys tomorrow all right uh check the links in the description box for all of these items from amazon and beyond i'll see you guys tomorrow
hey y'all so it is a brand new day i just um woke up this morning did a little journaling in the new journal that i set up yesterday uh just feels so good to get all of those things off my mind early in the morning uh made myself a chai tea i'm loving the spiced chai tea like tea bags from trader joe's the trader joe's brand it is so good what i do is i warm up a little bit of oat milk as well as hot water mix them together put the bag in and then put a little bit of um, agave syrup in it it is so good y'all it tastes like i made it at like a cafe or something so if you love chai tea definitely check out the trader joe's um uh, line um, and if you don't like oat milk you can use whatever kind of milk you prefer but it's so good and creamy and rich and spicy Ooh, so good um, I got myself together I'll show you guys my outfit of the day I'm just wearing this <laughs> Wu-Tang t-shirt I actually got this from forward a little while ago I think they still have them I'm wearing a medium they have a ton of different like old school 90s tees and y'all know that i'm into those and you know the yellow did it for me i paired it with my um attico uh cargo pants and my alexander mcqueen steel toe pumps and these bottega earrings um i have a few errands to run and i also have to look at my nails done today so that's why i'm kind of already done up but i want to show you what i got from age you guys ah! both of the dresses are here uh, and they're gorgeous let me show them to you okay so i only own one other oz dress and the brand actually sent that dress to me last year it's a beautiful orange dress uh, but i saw that they were having a sale last year 2023 um in december and so i ended up buying a few things starting with this kind of like a baby doll dress I just love how this looks on it's so like feminine and flirty and sweet but like different and unique and it looks so good on I ended up getting the UK size 10 which is a US size 6 and it runs just a tad bit big I wish I would have gotten a UK um, or an Australian 8 which is more like a US 4 um, just to have like less fabric around here but I love it this little part is pretty stiff here you can kind of mold it if you want there's a hidden zipper in the back and what I love is that the straps are adjustable but I ended up getting this in this beautiful like olive green I just think this is such a beautiful color you can wear this color year-round in spring in summer um, in fall and winter you can also throw on some like leggings under this maybe some stirrup leggings and like a pump and that would make this more winterized you could also put like a turtleneck underneath like a black turtleneck just so many ways to wear this this is definitely a year-round dress and i love how thick this portion is it does have quite a bit of like lining on the inside crinoline to make it like kind of poofy um but i love this dress this comes in a ton of colors but the green one was actually on sale and green is one of my favorite colors so i thought i would get this one um, they do have it in like black and cream and now that I see like how it looks on I feel like I want another one so I ended up getting this on sale it came in about I want to say a week um, the shipping was pretty quick now the other dress you all have seen this dress everywhere last year this was one of the biggest dresses of the season um, it also came in orange and I believe white um, but I've always had my eye out on the black and I finally saw that it went back on sale on the site moda operandi and then it promptly sold out <laughs> and so i just ended up going to their website and it's still it was still available in my size so i did get the australian 10 the 10 fits perfectly it's not too tight it's not too loose i probably could size down one size if i wanted it to be like a little more fitted but i like the way it fits um in the back i have another dress hanging here um, in the back it's like a v-neck and then the back is pretty low so you can't really wear a bra with it your bra will show um, and then it has a beautiful golden zipper with like this really gorgeous zip um, 
and I just love the raffia feathers. I have a similar dress like this from Mango, but it just wasn't given these vibes, like the raffia vibes. Um, and the material is just amazing. Like I know from now on in their dresses, I'm more of a of a size like a US four versus a six. So I think going forward in the future for more age dresses. Even though I'm a US size 6, I'm going to get a size 4 because it runs quite generous and it does have quite a bit of stretch and I would have liked it to be a little more form fitting, but I can settle for this version. So those are the two pieces that I got from Age and I, again, I got both of these pieces from their website. Uh, what else do I want to show y'all? Oh. I am again working with Michael Kors. I will hopefully be working with them throughout the year the same way I did last year. And you guys always love my Michael Kors picks. Um, I can tell because they sell so well. Like I can look at my analytics and see how many of you are like clicking on the Michael Kors links and purchasing. And I just appreciate you all so much. And I'm glad that you like my picks because that means that they will continue to keep like working with me. And I actually really do love the brand. I wear their pieces all the time. Their dresses are timeless. I have so many in my wardrobe. Um, and so now they're promoting their uh, like logo print. And so they sent me over a few pieces to create Instagram reels and stories with. So let me show you the pieces. Okay, first up, look at this little bag. This little tote is so freaking cute. I don't know if you can tell, but it does have like MK, their new like logo all throughout the bag. Um, it comes in a lighter fabric, so it's not as like overt in your face, logo mania. But I love this little hang tag as well. It's just like, it's almost like a book tote. And this does, this is the smallest size, but it comes in a medium as well as a large. So if you love like that book tote, like Dior type of look, this is another alternative. And I think this would probably gel more if you're more of like a neutral galley um, and you don't like as much color with the book tote. Like how gorgeous is that brown leather? Now, let me show you the inside. It's quite spacious. It does have a zipper pocket on one end and you can zip the bag closed so that no one can just reach inside and get your things. There's also two little hooks here for a shoulder strap. This is the shoulder strap. It's quite thick and it is adjustable. So you can wear it just carrying it like so, or you can wear it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag. And let me show you how that looks. And again, the strap is adjustable, so it doesn't really matter like how tall you are. You can adjust this to your body and the way you want it to sit across your body. And I like that the strap is actually thick. But yeah, you can wear it like so. You can even shorten it more and wear it as a shoulder bag so that it sits more up high like this or you could just carry it for me i'm a top handle kind of gal so i'll probably never <laughs> use the strap but it's nice to have it i'll be sure to link this down below because a lot of michael kors bags are pretty affordable and they usually have like sales every month so that you can get a lot of their things on sale and again the quality is amazing so that is the first piece i got and I create. I wanted to create an outfit around the bag because the bag is really like the showcase for what I'm trying to show. Um, so I ended up getting this dress, which is just a cream sweater dress from Michael Kors. It's fairly thick and the quality is amazing. It has a hidden zipper here in the back. It's a ribbed knit. Um, and it's just a mini skirt and I love a mini skirt for fall and winter. I'm probably going to wear it with like a boot, a knee high boot, maybe some um, like sheer stockings or leggings. Um, it does come with this cool little, all of their like dresses now come with these little belts, which definitely gives it like a 90s vibe, which is trending right now. You can wear the dress with or without the belt and the belt is gold. But I love these little things because I end up taking them off the dress and just wearing them with other things. It's like a two for one. 
Um, and I believe this does come in a few different colors. I always get my dresses from Michael Kors in a size medium and they fit perfectly. But they also have a good amount of stretch. And this is a nice thick dress. I'm heading to New York in a few days. I'll probably take this, wear it with a thigh high boot and a, like a huge like coat. And it'll be a vibe in a moment. Now, speaking of coats, I also got this coat, which is, I believe this is a new coat from their line. This is almost like a windbreaker. And it is in the same like fabric as the bag. And I got this in a size medium. How cool is that? It also comes with a hood. And it's fairly light. It's almost like a, a windbreaker. It has gold uh, hardware. And then you can adjust with these little pull tags here. Um, the hood and how like snug it is. And I just thought this was super cute. I also love that the waist looks like it also can be cinched in as well from the inside so that you can have like an hourglass figure here. Let me unzip it. I'm also going to just try on all of these things for you guys so you can see it on. But I believe this also comes in another color. Yeah. So on the inside there's a little pull string so that you can have more of like an hourglass look and give the coat a little more shape. Um, the sleeves also have these little buttons where you can tighten it as well. So I thought this would be like a cute look, matching the bag <laughs> to the jacket and even just like throwing it over this dress. Now, last but not least from Michael Kors, because your girl is traveling, remember January is my month of travel, I got the matching suitcase so this is like a little carry-on and i do believe this comes in a few different sizes there's also a duffel bag that comes in three different sizes that you can sit on top of this bag but like how cute is this love the logo love the brown it's just like very chic there is a lock on the top of it which is great if you have to check this you can hold it by the handle you can pull it here and I love like that it's almost like a brushed, like golden texture. Um, and it's very light and cute. And on the inside, it's like super spacious as well. So I think this will be great for all of my travels coming up where I'm just, if I'm going to New York, I already have clothes there. So it's not like I'm packing a lot, but this would be so cute. And I do believe it comes in a few sizes. So I'll be sure to link all of these things from Michael Kors um, down below in the description bar. Just click the link, it'll take you straight to the items. Usually everything that I'm showing you is super, super new. So everything should be in stock. But of course, I will also link a few other favorites from Michael Kors that I love. I have a boot from them that I am obsessed with. It's like right over here, I'm looking at it. In fact, let me show you the boot. These are my favorite boots from Michael Kors. They are so good. I believe they're called the Rue Boot. But uh, if you're looking for like the perfect shape, and they're also very, very comfortable with a hidden zipper on the inside. And if you have wider calves, there is a stretcher in there. Uh, these were on sale during the holidays. Y'all, I can't tell you how many of you bought these boots and love them, but these are my favorite boots right now. As far as like a, a knee high boot. And then also from Michael Kors, I have their new, their new bags. If you like the 90s type of vibe and you're living for gold and silver, like how cute is this? I don't know if you guys have seen this bag before, um, but it's like a Michael Kors speedy bag in silver. And then I have this bag that's gold and they make these in both colors um all different sizes even like a carry-on bag size that you can sit on top of the suitcase but people be sleeping on Michael Kors but they have cute stuff so I'll be sure to link these if they're still available I think they are and just a few more of my favorites that I actually own and I can vouch for from Michael Kors but yeah shout out to them for always working with your girl all right guys so that is it for today's vlog i hope you all enjoyed the vlog 
um i'm going to go run some errands get my nails done i'm gonna i'm gonna come back here and i'm packing because i'm heading to new york so the next vlog will be a new york vlog i know how much you all love the new york vlogs um but if you did enjoy today's video please do give your girl a thumbs up don't forget sometimes y'all be leaving without thumbs up the video and i get it you know you're just ready to move on to the next video but help your girl out we're trying to get those numbers up even further in 2024 if you are new here subscribe because if you watch this far you love the video and i would love to have you join the fam and also hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video you know we sell things out over here and you want to be one of the first to watch the videos thank you guys so much for tuning in um and i hope you guys enjoyed it because i enjoyed filming it all right you guys i will see you all in new york Bye guys.